happy Monday, everyone. Today has just been one of those Mondays. It is the most Monday-y Monday of all time, and I am just remembering now why I why I used to go to bed at 8 p.m. every night. It's 1.30. I've been working all morning, but like I just cannot focus. I have no energy at all. So it's like not my best Monday. I thought about just calling it quits, but I actually think I'm gonna run an errand, work out, and do like a little bit more work when I get back. It's pouring here, so like that's not helping. And every one of my DMs right now is like, no dude, like I can't do anything, like I have no energy. So that makes me feel better. <laughs> Today is just like not my day, guys. It's not gonna conquer the world every day, you know? But I do wanna drop off a disposable because my friends and I filled it up this weekend. I had such a good weekend as always. I'm actually gonna vlog this weekend because this is gonna be our best one yet. I think I'm going on the boat. We have a party bus to Billy Bob's. We've got a lot of stuff happening. I also just decided that I'm gonna commit to writing one hour a day, like Monday through Friday, weekly, um, because I think that will be really good for me. It's like getting work stuff done. Today, it's an off day, um, but the rest of the week will be productive. So if you need one of those vlogs, like just skip to Tuesday, you know what I mean? I have no one of them for myself. Like I, I just like packed this weekend. Like, honestly, I don't even really know why. Like, it's been pouring, so I'm sure that took all my energy from me. But, like, oh, hi, Mr. Handsome. You're just the cutest. Forcing myself to run an errand. I put Jack Harlow on on my drive here, and I actually, like, feel like working out now. So that's a good sign. It's pretty much all I have to offer for this Monday. It's a miracle that I got my computer work done today. Um, and since in this week's episode of the podcast, which actually is with Annalyn McCord. She's Naomi on 9 at 2 and 0, so, like, my high school self was, like, screaming. Very cool. Um, the guest that I'm recording with in LA, guys, like, the show is about to be at, like, a whole new level. Because it's going to be back in studio. It's going to be video and audio. I mean, it's just about to be, like so good so kind of getting my motivation back a little bit but like i, I don't want to speak too soon update i haven't vlogged in hours but it's no longer raining fitz is back in his new spot a miracle happened and i did do a workout i got on clubhouse i ended up really turning my day around and being productive which is not what i expected but anyways i'm gonna go read malu rising taylor jenkin reads newest book and hopefully go to bed by 8 p.m so, happy Monday, everyone. Good morning, guys. It is now Tuesday. Um, I just made some breakfast. I have a boxing class at noon. I'm boxing with these nails. Like, pray for me. Something I think I want to get back into this summer is boxing. I feel like I've just been needing to, this is bothering me, to switch up kind of what I've been doing for my fitness routine. I'm actually going to film a fitness routine video today just because I've been doing this for so long and I feel like I might be switching things up, not really quite sure. I just watched my vlogs in LA probably like four years ago. I got really into boxing and I went to a random gym that was scary. It wasn't like a rumble, cute boxing type thing, which I really like rumble, but it was so fun. It was like me and this man, Alex, who was the coach, and there were classes, but I go went all the time, so he would like basically box with me. And just imagine like 18, 19 year old Kinsey with a bunch of grown men in a garage in downtown LA boxing. Like that's the vibe. That's just like what it was, you know? So anyways, I'm gonna try a new boxing place here today and a new Mayweather gyms that are opening in Dallas this summer. And I already joined because they like got me with the price. I hope I like it. So like I did Melissa with health yesterday and I was kind of craving that. So like we'll see. I like boxing because it feels like it's a sport and it's something that I'm like getting. I mean it is but like feels like I am going to practice or something. I like a good noon workout class because I get my morning like computer work done. And then I get home, shower, get ready and then... I film. It's Tuesday, which means it's Taco Tuesday tonight, so my friends are coming over. Oh, I finished Malibu Rising last night. It wasn't my favorite book ever. Like, I didn't dislike it. I'm glad I read it, but it didn't, like, captivate me like her other books have. Even her just normal, like, romance novels I really love, um, but I wouldn't say that, like, Malibu Rising was, like, the best book I ever read, which sucks because, like, I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. I liked it. I would give it, like, a 3.5. Okay, I like need to get to work, so I will talk to you guys probably when I'm off to boxing. All right, guys, I made it to the boxing studio. My hair is really messy. This side of White Rock honestly feels like a completely different city. Like, I don't feel like I'm really not far at all. I forgot my energy drink, so this should be interesting, but I'm really excited to get back into boxing. Hopefully, this is like what I'm feeling. I don't know. I might go like a few times a week or something. Oh. Oh my god guys like it was so good my like 
wrist is weak. It is so hot out right now. It was such a good workout. I love that this class specifically was only 44 minutes. I would rather go harder and have a shorter period of time. Then explain to me why a 55 minute workout class sounds like it's an hour longer than a 44 minute. I'm glad I went. If you guys have had something on your list to go do, try something new, go back to something you used to like to do, this is your sign to do it. It was really fun, it was really hard. I wanna start going at like a couple times a week. All right, I just made the most random lunch. So it's just chicken, broccoli, hot sauce. That's what I had. I actually just ordered groceries. So we will have a grocery haul shortly. I'm actually gonna make a lot of new recipes this week, which I'm excited for also. Like this is just so cute. I've showered. I wish I would've gotten a cold brew. I'm wearing this set, guys. It's from Lou and Gray. I haven't worn it in like a year and it is the most flattering, most comfortable set. I am obsessed with it. It's not available anymore, but if anyone knows where I can buy more sets like this, like comment below, DM me please, because I love this. Like, okay, quick grocery haul. I got a lot of stuff because I'm going to be making a lot of food. You know, genius. Rice noodles, salmon of course, spinach, kale, broccolini, so good. Avocado, Dave's bread, my favorite bread. Pepper, frozen pineapple. Cucumber, olives. These are supposed to be shaved carrots, but these will do as well. Strawberries, mini cucumbers, dates, so good. Little edamame. My favorite almond coconut milk and coconut water. This is my Starbucks iced coffee. Comment below your favorite iced coffee. This has been my favorite lately. Um, really good. Olive oil, balsamic vinegar, which I definitely have. I don't know why I put that in the order. Coconut aminos, my favorite thing in the summer. I rice vinegar. Also, I ordered these on Instacart and they came literally within like an hour. Jasmine rice bags, feta cheese, and bananas. And that is it for the grocery haul. I was at such a low point that I made myself hot coffee. Like when it's cold, I'll do hot coffee, but like in the summer, it just sounds like gross to me. I don't know. So here we are with my favorite coffee combo. Has never been more needed. Feeling better, feeling um, alive. I feel weird without lip product on. Have my coffee, about to go film. All I really wanna do right now is read. All right guys, I just finished filming my little fitness routine video, the talk through. I've already filmed like the other stuff and my group chat is going off about Josh Richards right now, so. Okay, I need to send this to my editor. I am constantly amazed at how Apple can just scam us. So I had to get a new laptop charger sent to me, right? Because, or I had to order one online and then I had it delivered from Apple, which they do that within like two hours by the way and it came so quick and I like, triple check that it was the right MacBook charger and somehow I still got it wrong. And it's like, this is like an iPhone charger. I'm just so confused, like, what? So expensive, um, and I was gonna return it besides the fact that I completely ripped the box up because I'm dumb, but also um, I always have people working over here and it's, there's always someone who needs an old, I don't know, there's always someone who like needs an old charger, but like this is, is this just for iPhone? But. Do you think it charges your phone like really fast? I ripped the box up, like I can't return that. That's just so unfortunate. Anyways, my cousin texted me, we're gonna go to Leela's for happy hour, it's Tuesday. It just felt necessary, it's really nice out now and it's been raining the past two days. We were gonna do Taco Tuesday tonight, but I'm sorry, short, we're not doing it anymore. So. I mean guys, Apple, scammers they are, but here's the thing, I'm gonna continue being very loyal to Apple because everything that I love is also from Apple. It's like an unhealthy relationship, you know? Just kidding, Apple, I love you. I'm really your number one fan. I don't want this to be used against me one day. Um, and I do actually love Apple, it's all for the bit. It was a joke. Um, and you know what, I'm really happy about my $80 phone charger that I just accidentally bought. I'm, I'm over the moon about it, I really am. Guys, okay, first off, I actually think I forgot to show you this bag that I got. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's from Zara. I made a TikTok and I posted it to Reels and you know, I'm going a little bit I don't want to say TikTok viral, but I'm like actually getting views on TikTok. So you know what's really upsetting? The fact that I will spend about, um, I don't know, 30 seconds, not even 10 seconds on a TikTok video that will get about 10 times the views on my YouTube videos. It's really something else, but it's fine. We're fine. Beautiful. I love it, right? Well, everyone was like, oh my God, so cute ordering now, blah, blah, blah. And I was like really having a moment. And then someone commented that having your initials on things is chuggy. Guys, my phone, this, my, I mean like, 
Is this the end of my fight to be Gen Z? It just might be. I can't, I'm not, that's sorry, I'm sorry, that's just not happening. Um, and you know what, if it is, so be it. But like, be honest with you guys, is it? You know what I mean? I'm not gonna stop with the industries because I personally love things that are customized, but like, what a real bummer that would be, you know? We're at Leela's. Um, I brought my vlog camera, but I left the memory card at home on accident. Plus, I got wine. I got the strawberry splash, which is what I always get here. It's happy It's only hour. Tuesday, by the way. Yeah, it's only Tuesday, guys. Um, we have a cute little cheese board. I was going to cook, but now I think we're gonna get sushi after this. So, it is what it is. Very happy right now. Good morning guys. Good morning guys. It's Wednesday. I'm about to take the dogs on a walk. I'm throwing my hat on. This set is Amazon at $28. I'll link it below. This hat actually is Amazon as well. I've been really into like trucker hats lately as well as everyone else in the world. So I'm gonna go listen to a podcast, go on a walk, come back, get my life together. So I'll see you guys soon. On today's episode of getting bullied on the internet, I'm actually on my way to go get a new phone. Um, I was getting bullied again on Instagram recently. I don't know what it is with the trolls on Instagram, but this time the trolls are right. They were just saying that my camera quality is really bad. And then I looked at the model of my phone and I realized that I still have an iPhone X. I just like do not care about phones and like having the newest phone or anything like that. I feel like I was excited about that when I was in like middle school and like ever since then I just haven't cared. Then I realized unfortunately that um, I need a new phone. I really do. The quality is bad. It is. And like the front camera especially. Uh, so it's not that deep. Um, so you know what? This time the trolls win. But they were right. And it was the push that I needed to go in the right direction. So I'm on my way to at t to get a new phone. I did some work this morning. I feel very productive. Like I'm like, you know, doing something here. Alright guys, the Instagram trolls win again. But I actually do need a new phone, and this is going to be great, and my quality will be a lot better. I only got the iPhone 12 because the Pros apparently are, like, sold out everywhere. And judging by the fact that I didn't even know that we were at iPhone 12 yesterday, like, it, it clearly doesn't matter to me. I was fine with just the Pro, and then I just got a black phone case. I'm going home. I'm going to switch my phone over. Wait! Do they not give you phone chargers anymore? Like, don't even get me started on this, guys. It's just unbelievable. Here's my new phone. It already look, just looks nicer. Wow. It's Tom. Wow. Looks pretty cool. Guys, there's no spot for my phone charm. How is this supposed to work? Do I just do it here? Like, how do you... I'm gonna have to do some Googling. Um, update, they do give you a charger, just without the box. Like, what do they think they're doing? Apple, I love you, by the way. I just, the no box thing is really getting to me. It's really doing something. Oh, hello. Look at this, guys. All right, guys, it is a little bit later. I have showered, changed, gotten ready for the day. I'm actually about to record a podcast with Dr. Caroline Leaf, which I am so excited for. She just came out with a book a month or so ago, her latest release. She recently came out with a book called Managing Your Mental Mess, and I am so excited for this episode i think you guys are really gonna like it she's someone that i followed since like mid college so i'm excited um, i'm trying to get into like the recording zone hopefully this is my last remote recording for the foreseeable future because i have like seven episodes ready to record in la i'm just like trying to get into like the recording zone and then my mom is coming and i just need her to help me with random things like decisions that I need to make around the house telling me what I need to buy for certain things. I'm giving her an espresso machine. What else am I doing? She'll be here and we're gonna be doing a lot of house stuff. Hopefully there'll be a lot of house updates. I just also need to get in the zone for that. I feel like I'm just kind of like, you know. My mother is here. We've already cleared out some things here. Feels great. That bathroom's getting organized. Okay, mom, are you ready for your delayed present that I bought randomly like four months ago that I forgot to give you every time you come? Oh yeah, you keep telling me about this. She's wearing OK Sis merch, by the way. Ready? Isn't it so perfect for you? Oh, I love it. It's very it's cute. So cute. It's very Look my at mother. With the little... I know. It's oh, cute. I love it. I just don't care. I have to not care because it's so good. Well, at your age, I didn't either. I could. No, I normally processed it. My body processed it well, but when you get older, it just doesn't do that anymore. You what? I thought. Oh, <laughs> this is just making her so happy. I just really <laughs> needed this today. Thank you. Oh, you too. Did you not get a drink at all? I got a water. 
Oh, I do want to taste that though. Do you want to try it? I just got lip gloss. I know. Do I'm a out. taste test for the vlog, mom. Okay. It's matcha with peppermint. It sounds weird, but it's so refreshing. Oh, that is good. But it's see, too sweet for me. Oh, it is just the best drink ever. Like the peppermint. Right or left? Here we go. We've made it to Home Depot. These are the exciting times, guys. This is one of the most boring shopping of my life ever. <laughs> This is where we're at now. We're gonna hang some of these. We've gotten rid of so much stuff, which has been helpful. Trying to fix our bar stools that have still never been fully set up. Um, this is part of what we're hanging. We're gonna hang this over here. I have a haul to share with you guys later. Exciting things. Here is the update for this bathroom that I've never put anything in. Um, all of these prints are Society6. This is a Polaroid. The frames are all Ikea. And we have these here. I want like an eclectic, fun, little like half bath i'm gonna replace the light and the mirror and then i think i'm gonna find like a really cute fun rug and have that in here because everything else is pretty neutral but i kept like my main pieces neutral so i can just like switch out accessories and stuff um we're having to look on the bar stools we just got the wrong nails so it's gonna be okay the dogs are really just chilling over here i'm almost wondering what other You're close. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, look at how Woo! Look at how uneven it is though. No, it's not. Like this side looks. It doesn't at all from here. Really? Yeah. Wow, first try. Uh, but like, here's the thing. I got this, I've already ordered it, there's no return, so eventually I'll probably sell it if I decide to change it out. I mean, I'm sure I will sell it at some, or change it out at some point. Just, um, because I'm always changing my house up. The main thing is that this is the only thing that was big enough, but there's this really funny print on Society6 and it's nuns smoking, and it's black and white, and it would be so good if I had it here. Like, wouldn't that be so cute? I thought you said nuns smoking. No, it's nuns smoking. Nun smoking. Do you get it? Isn't that funny? Yeah. I would love that here, um, but I think for now this is good. Especially I'll get like pink flowers and stuff and it'll be fun in here. I'm just left. We got a lot of stuff done around the house, organized a lot, decluttered. I just, I feel like a new person. Um, and my house is getting cleaned on Friday and I just like cannot wait for this. Um, but the bathroom's looking really good. There's like a little nook in the original like master closet and I think I'm going to turn that into a vanity and then it's just going to be so much better. Like once the rest of my closet is built in the closet room and I can move that stuff over. I'll be able to work on that. So probably when I get back from LA in a few weeks, I have quite the haul to show you guys. Um, the first thing I got is this beautiful beach towel. Um, I bought this because my friends keep telling me they're going to take me on their boat and then it rains. So anyways, also I just needed more towels for summer. I also got this little beach bag thing because I was just thinking how I need one even for like literally going up on my rooftop just have everything together. The first thing I'm going to be showing you guys, these are from Princess Polly. I have yet another Princess Polly haul. This is not sponsored. The last two have been completely my own money. I'm just buying so much stuff from them right now. They really are like my favorite place to shop, especially in the summer because they have the best dresses. I tweeted the other day that I think I'm becoming kind of like a heels girl and this is like my transition into it. I just keep buying fun little shoes. so. These are brown. I thought these were fun. They're really easy to walk in and wear, like on a night out, um, which I love. And then I also have these nude ones that are a little bit shorter. Again, these are just like perfect, honestly, like kind of everyday. I feel like these are like a necessity for your closet, you know? Got a chocolate brown dress. I thought this was so cute. So here you go. There's a little cutout. It's long, very like flattering. I love stuff that's like this because one, it's really cozy. Um, it's also flattering. This dress, I hope I like it on my chest area. Things like this sometimes, I'm like, it's just too much. But cute rouge should be really fun um, for a night out. It gets so hot here with like pink heels or something. I'm randomly into color. Not all of this is colorful, but I'm like randomly really into it. I got um, just this little black skirt because I need skirts. I never have been a skirt girl, but I'm kind of becoming one. And I'm feeling like Molly. Molly has always been such a skirt girl. And she looks so cute in them. So I actually don't know why I've never really got, you would think. I got this dress, which is fun. I love a good little pink moment, clearly. I'm really into that as of lately. I got this little cute green skirt. Super fun, there's a little slit too. Okay, I love this dress, like obsessed. 
I think it's so fun. I love things when they're ruched on the side because they always are a little bit more flattering. And I just think that this is like the cutest thing ever. I got this dress, which I wore. I'll post, I'll post a photo of me wearing another dress in this color here um, this weekend. And I got so many compliments on it. And it's like literally the cutest dress ever. I hauled it in the last haul. Um, and so I love like a deeper blue color. And I just figured this is like really easy. I might wear it tomorrow just like around. But got another little cute green dress. I just wear dresses nonstop. It's like my form of wearing a sweat set in the summer. I've talked about this before because it's one thing and you're done. You just trick people and it seems like you're trying harder than you are. And then I got um, this more casual like black skirt. Then this, believe it or not, is a dress um, and you tie it up. Again, so cute. I love that. Love these moments that we're having. Okay, from Lion and Dot, they actually sent me these clothes, but they're so cute. This set I die for. Like, look at this, first off. And then we have matching bottoms. So cute. Guys, like, I love this outfit. I think it's so fun. Pair it with some heels, like, super fun. I got another dress, which I'm always thankful for because, again, dresses are all I wear. And this is a really cute little baby doll dress, a little bit more conservative, cute if you're, like, going to see your boyfriend's family or something. Love this top. These little um, strap details, but I thought this would be cute for like a summer night. Last but not least, I got these pants just because I wanted to try. I think that these are cute too. They're just blue pants, super cute. I think this is fun with something that's super cropped in heels. Love. So that is my haul for today. Um, I'm completely out of control in the shopping department. Like it needs to end. But there's no end in sight, so. And I love filming a good haul for you guys. I'm just like trying to justify it, you know? Oh, Dom just FaceTimed me. I'm gonna call her back. Happy Thursday, guys. I just did my whole morning routine. I'm ready to go. I'm about to eat some breakfast and then head out the door of errands to run. I'm getting my first Brazilian wax today, which I am, I need Tylenol. I'm so terrified of, guys. Like, it's literally my biggest fear. And my group chat is like not helping me because they like, are just making it worse. Anyways, I'm wearing this dress. This is Princess Polly. This bag is my favorite cute little juicy one from Depop. These Nike blazers, I mean, the per outfit is just perfect, truly. Anyways, I wanna run to Sephora. I have therapy. I have things to do. No people to see until later tonight, but we're gonna get going with my day. I'm so hungry, my flashlight is not on. New phone updates, it's going great. Um, I honestly don't really notice much of a difference. So. You, wow. Day two of my favorite matcha drink. I'm getting this for myself because I deserve it after what I'm going to go through within the next hour. I'm just gonna keep thinking. I have therapy at one. I'm just gonna keep thinking like at 1 p.m. this will be over. At 1 p.m. this will be over. And it'll be over before then, but I'm not exactly quite sure when it will be over and I don't wanna get too excited. This is the official before. Um, I am fully planning on crying. I'm planning on being in so much pain. Um, I'm, I'm just preparing for the absolute worst that way. Maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking. I'll keep you guys posted. I got all worked up for absolutely nothing. I went to the first location and I went to the wrong one. Then they were like, oh, you're booked, but you're not booked. You're booked for the other location. So I drove very quickly to the other location to make my appointment and they're like, oh, you're not booked for two more weeks, which is weird because the Google Calendar invite I got from booking with them was literally for right now. And they're like, sorry, you're not booked. And they're booked for the next few weeks. So I did all of that for literally nothing. Guys, okay, so I went to therapy. I went to therapy and then I went to European Wax Center because I could get an appointment there last minute. So I just got it done and it was nothing. Like I thought it was gonna be the most painful thing of my entire life from what everyone else has told me. And they kept saying your first one's the worst and blah, blah, blah. And like there was definitely like pain points, but it was not that bad. I was in and out in 20 minutes. I went to Elizabeth at European Wax Center if you're in Dallas off Greenville. Um, she made me feel so comfortable. I didn't feel awkward at all. It wasn't painful. I mean, it, it hurt, but it wasn't like to the degree that I was expecting. It wasn't that bad. I mean, what do I not talk about on this channel? You know what I mean? I'm very proud of myself, guys. Like, I kept asking if it was gonna get worse. Like, kept thinking, like, there's no way this is the pain people are, like, talking about. I don't know, guys. It just wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't, like, the most fun thing I've ever done, obviously. But it just, like, really, truly wasn't that bad for me. I don't know why. We're going home. I just got back to a package from The Way. First off, this bag is so cute. I am obsessed with it. Like, I will just wear that normally. Um, they gave me a pair of Desi sunglasses, which I'm so excited for. I love Desi sunglasses. 
And we have the Way Scalp and Body Scrub, which I'm always needing because of, you know, self-tanning and a cute little hair clip. And this cute sticker. Time to do a little Desi unboxing here. First off, like beautiful. <gasps> These are so cute. I am in love and I have so many places to put my new sunglasses too. Guys, they're so cute. Let's see them on. Oh. Wow, we love these. I just, oh, they're so fun. Sorry for the dishwasher, I just changed. I'm wearing the most simple outfit, Skims bodysuit, brown heels, these Princess Polly jeans that, that I literally wear all the time. Um, I came home, I started cleaning, I did some work, I sent in some like final things that I need to do. I need to get my nails done, which is, it's just something I like put off, but I like don't have any other time besides now. And then I am going to meet with a friend. I've known him since I was like probably Honestly, like eight and he's like my neighbor for the month. So we have plans, but I need to get my nails done It's really bad. So then I'm able then I'm gonna be able to scrub off my self tan and fix it There's just like a lot of moving parts to being a girl. I also might get another matcha I'm really tired and it's only it's not even 5 p.m. And like I have a, a thing I have things to do all right guys my nails are done. I'm back to my tips I went back to pink. I've done this before. I just think they're really fun um I don't know, I've just been really into this shape and stuff lately, but so fun. Also, this phone camera is so much better than my last one. Happy Friday, everyone. Um, what a time, what a day, what a great start to the weekend. Last night I went to Toasted and then we went to HG Supply and I was out until like 11. My original plan was to be in bed by eight, but you know, just got back from a walk. I can't work out within like, I guess 24 hours of a Brazilian. Hook us up. So I just like went on a walk instead. Today is a big day of computer work. I have people coming over to work at my house at some point. Oh, I got another dress. So I have three dress options for Billy Bob's. Stay tuned on my Instagram and for the next vlog. I'm really excited because I'm actually gonna vlog my weekend in my life and <coughs> maybe you guys will meet some of my friends. Honestly, a lot of them are people who were in vlogs when I was like 16 too, but I also got this dress as an option. And I think this is so cute and I love the cut. The other ones are like so baby doll and like so country that I feel like it's a waste to not wear them to Billy Bob's at the same time. Like I could also wear this anywhere. I don't know, I'm gonna do like a TikTok thing. Look at this cute little mug that CVS sent me, like love that. So I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna self tan, I'm gonna get my life together, and then I'm gonna get to work. I self tan, I'm wearing this cute set that I honestly wear as like real clothes, but I also wear as pajamas, it's from Revolve. My hair is drying, I've been editing for a few hours. I'm going to make some lunch and I'm actually gonna make some Instagram reels. The rest of today is literally just gonna be me working at my computer, not moving. So I actually think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. If you guys want these recipes, they're on my Instagram. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy this week of my life vlog and I will talk to you soon. My agent calls me and she's like, they're offering you more money and I was like, do they not understand what no means? I said, no, I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. No. And I learned some lovely negotiation skills. <laughs> Say no.